Hey, it's Andy Case here with Pulse Bike Magazine. I knew this was what I wanted to do as far back as I can remember. I grew up in a really big family of seven, and, and I was the middle child, so when you're in a big family, you're kind of always searching for something that's going to kind of like claim your identity. And the first time I ever sang in front of anybody was my first year of public school in fifth grade, and I think after that, I sang for the talent show, and I ended up getting such a positive response that um, it kind of just drove me. It kind of let me know, it was like, hey, I didn't totally suck, I could actually do this. So um, it kind of gave me hope, and I think after that was like, since it was like all I wanted to do, I was like, okay, well that's it, I'm going to do this for the rest of my life, and there's no holding back. Well, I hope that my music has taught my fans to, you know, be empowered and find self-confidence in themselves, you know, whether it's my originals, like a couple songs, We're Gonna Be Okay, or um, The Bet I've Made, or even I have a new song coming out called Last Song, and it's all about empowerment, you know, this is the last song I'm going to write about you, kind of like being able to overcome obstacles that life throws at you, and um, just finding the confidence in yourself, and, you know, finding strength through any situation possible. On this tour, I'm most excited to go out and meet everyone you know who's seen the videos and I'm most excited to gain new fans and just be able to talk to them personally and be able to you know see the people in person that I've talked to online because you can only get so personal online you know through a computer screen. I try to message and talk to as many um, of my viewers as possible but being able to actually see them in person is like such a bigger deal and it's on such a personal level. Throughout the years my music has evolved a lot I think just from starting out with doing like acoustic covers and not really like putting myself in a category, it's kind of given me a chance to evolve as an artist and kind of figure out what style I like. So, um, and you know, I've taken all the types of influences that I grew up listening to, you know, like the, from the Beach Boys to Britney Spears to Marilyn Manson, like it's kind of gotten me to this point where I realize I love like rock music, but I also love mainstream pop. So, you know, my uh, end result is pop rock. So I'm super happy about it. Um, I see myself in the future just continuing playing music and writing and just being able to reach out to more fans and more people who like my music. And I just want to continue honing my craft and, you know, just playing music nonstop. I just want to make that, you know, my life. I think you got me. You